We continue our Microsoft Office Word tutorials with a brief tutorial about the mini toolbar, the quick access toolbar and the help button. Now we've talked about the ribbon and the various tabs and commands that can be found on the ribbon, but there are a couple of other useful features I want to show you. Now you may have noticed when you've selected text that there is a faded, almost ghosting image above the text that you selected. If you move your cursor over the top of that faded image, it's what's known as the mini toolbar. Now on the mini toolbar you'll find useful commands that are frequently used. Now this toolbar also appears when you right click over highlighted text. It's either at the top or if we were low down the page it would be the bottom of the menu that appears from when you right click. You can use the mini toolbar and it saves you going up to the main ribbon for certain commands. The quick access toolbar can be found at the top above your file or home tab in Word 2010 and above the Microsoft Office button in 2007 and by default you'll have the save button, the undo and repeat. But these can be customized by clicking on the button next to them. We can customize what's on the quick access toolbar by just highlighting frequently used options on the menu. And if we want more commands to add up there, we click on more commands down below. And this gives us a whole menu of things that we can add to that quick access toolbar. Not only that, if we right click over a command like bold, we can add that to our quick access toolbar. Across the other side of our ribbon is the Microsoft Word Help button and here you can get help using Microsoft Office on all the topics we cover and many more. Thanks very much.